my god. Let's see if we can be a Lamborghini. No way. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Welcome back to some more driving simulator. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised you clicked on today's video. We're doing something a little bit random. Today we're taking a look at the Christmas event in driving simulator you guys have requested this video for a while and I decided to make it a little bit different if you guys don't know what I'm talking about this absurd vehicle is now in driving simulator for you to get I don't know if it's going to be a permanent car I think they're gonna switch it up in the future kind of like they did with uh, the previous stuff I don't think they're gonna keep this car forever um, reason being is it's just kind of weird uh, but if you guys want to go ahead and buy this car I hope this video helps you guys decide if it's worth it. It's $125,000, which does take a little bit of time to get. Its stats are kind of like what you would expect from a car thing like this. Uh, top speed is over 125 miles an hour, which is insane. Uh, it's zero to 60 is terrible, 12 seconds. Handling somehow is 60%. I can't imagine how this thing has good handling. And its brakes are pretty bad, so don't expect it to accelerate accelerate fast and also don't expect it to stop very quickly. I had to buy this car because so many of you guys asked me to get it. So without further ado, $125,000 down the drain. Now to make this video just that little bit more uh, unique, I kind of want to go ahead and max it out. It's probably a giant waste of money to max this thing out, but let's go ahead and do that today. Also, very quickly, you can change the colors up on this car, which I'm gonna go ahead and do just to give it a brighter look. Um, this is kind of cool how you can go ahead and customize it just like this. Look at that, that looks pretty nice. So we'll go with this little look. You can even change the rims. Um, I don't I don't know what to do with the rims. Maybe green, maybe because it's like festive and all that. I don't know. We'll just, we'll just do white, how about that? Either way, how much is it gonna cost us to max this thing out? A racing engine is only $23,000, and holy crud, look at those gains. We get 15 miles per hour more and minus five seconds acceleration. That is massive, totally worth 23 grand. Uh, turbo kit, 36 grand for turbo kit. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. We're just gonna max this whole thing out. I don't know if you guys are gonna like this or not. I mean, I just kinda wanted to see what it would do. My goal today is to beat a couple of really good cars in this present. If I can win, I'm gonna be genuinely surprised, but we've totally maxed this thing out now. I hope it can win some races, otherwise this might just become an epic fail. Honestly, I should have probably practiced a little bit before doing this video, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. While we wait for the race to start, what is our stats looking like? Okay, so we have 158 miles per hour top speed, 0 to 60 in 4.74 seconds, handling 61% and brakes 27%. It's not that bad. It's not great. But it's not terrible, so hopefully this is enough to actually win a couple of races today. Luckily for us, our competition doesn't look too threatening. We have like a Volkswagen Beetle, the Starter Audi, we've got the Nocturne Dawn. Overall, I think we have a chance at this. Cross your fingers, guys. Wish me luck. We are gonna get started in a downtown race. We might actually be able to win this. As long as nobody else shows up, it's just a couple of Model 3s and some other like mid-level cars. This actually might be a win. Let's go, dude. Okay, so our top speed is 256 kilometers an hour, which is un- godly fast for a vehicle like this. I think the weirdest thing about this car is its turning radius. Because it's such a short little vehicle, uh, it turns really, really sharply, and that's not very easy to get used to, but around these bends, this thing is actually really good. Because it's so short and its turning radius is so small, it just winds right around corners like nothing. Yo, okay, this might be an underrated vehicle. I spent under 200 grand, I think, on this car. So, if we could win a race... Oh, dude, come on, come on. No, not like this. Not like this. Okay, yo, we're still in first? How are we still in first? Has nobody really passed me yet? Okay. Now, obviously, our competition isn't, like, really that great. Normally, you would expect to be racing against, like, at least some McLarens and Lambos and stuff. Um, but you know what, dude? You know what? We almost won. Wait. Oh, dude, we almost won that race. 
1.5 seconds off and we would have got that. Now normally in any decent car, you can get under a minute in the downtown race. So a minute 10 is pretty bad. Um, but keep in mind, look what we're driving. Do I really have to say anything more? We're driving a freaking box. So you know how this car turns really easily? Well, it got me thinking, if it can turn super easily, maybe it's a good car for the Madness City race. You guys know that this race does a lot of turns and loops and bends. Maybe this car will shine in the Madness City race. I don't know for certain. I really don't know what the heck this thing can be good at, but we're going to try it. We got a guy in a Tesla Cybertruck racing us, so let's, uh, let's see if a present can beat a Tesla. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do this thing. I'm feeling pretty lucky, honestly. Here we go. Dude, this thing just rips right off of the line. I know it's only like a 4.5 second 0 to 60, but it feels like it rips. I don't know. It's just this tiny little box. So any kind of acceleration just feels insane. Now, the one thing you guys are definitely noticing is when it hits something, it hits it hard. So the problem is when you hit a wall, you're basically going to be like done for. Um, you hit a wall, this whole thing's going to fall over. And uh, yeah, good luck recovering from that. Like, look at this. I've totally messed up my entire race. Come on. Oh, we're still in first? How are we still in first? Please explain this to me. Out of all of the event cars, I still have to say the Requiem from the Halloween event is by far my favorite. That thing took me hours to get, but it was so worth it when we finally got it. I mean, it was just so good. Now, I will say it uh, it's definitely a lot better than this. <laughs> this is a whole different thing. I don't even I don't even know if you call this a car. What do you call this thing? It's literally nothing more than a box on wheels. But then again, there are some cars that kind of look like a box on wheels, too. So I don't know, man. And sometimes the way it turns feels really, really weird and unpredictable. I don't know if it's just this car, but I have been noticing that quite a bit on other vehicles and driving sim as well. They just sometimes feel a little unpredictable. Oh boy. Okay. The Corvette C8 pulls up. Um, this doesn't look like it's going to end well for our little uh, box car. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm really kind of nervous. Here we go. He looks like a lot more serious than the other guy was. So let's just do our best. Uh, it looks like off of the line, this thing is actually really quick. I kind of want to take it to the drag strip. After this one, we're going to go take it to the drag strip just to see what it can do against some other cars. Like, look at that turn. You have to admit, that is a really, really fast little turning vehicle. So I think that's what this thing is really good at. It turns so sharply. And if we do races that depend a lot on its turning ability, I think we might still be able to actually win. Oh my god, we got first place. I have to say, I feel kind of sorry for the dude in the Corvette. I mean, can you imagine losing to this <laughs> when you're in a really expensive Corvette? That's, uh, that's a hard loss to take for sure, but all right, don't mind me, guys. Just rolling up to the uh, drag strip in my present. Let's see if somebody wants the smoke. Does anybody want to race? Oh, it's a Lamborghini Countach. Dude, okay, Lamborghini Countach versus the present Oh my god, let's see if we can be a Lamborghini. No way. Let's go, 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 go. Yo! <laughs> let's go, dude! Yes! Oh my god, we just beat a Lamborghini. Oh my god. Let's freaking go. Lol, oh my god. Okay, that has to be the funniest thing I've ever seen, okay? I can't believe we just beat him in a freaking present. This guy wants to race me, but he's in a Conan seg, so it's like, I mean, <laughs> you're gonna win, bro. Don't worry. You don't have anything to worry about. You're gonna beat me. But for the joke of it, let's do this and go! Yo, off the line, this thing freaking goes. No, no, we're not gonna beat a Conan seg. Dude, 0.1 seconds. 0.1 seconds and we would have beat him. All right, last race, reversing that guy in the Corvette from earlier. <laughs> oh my God, dude, this thing is quick. You can't even deny it. This thing is quick. The only thing it sucks at is top speed, but yo, this is actually an underrated vehicle. Holy crud, I can't believe it's been beating a bunch of people. Okay, just to wrap up today's video, I'm doing this one because I know somebody out there wants to see this. We are gonna do the Ice Lake Drift Race um, in this thing. I don't know if it drifts. If I had to guess, I would say it probably won't drift at all, but let's see what it can do. 
Someone race me at the lake race. Okay, a lot of people in the chat above me are asking me to do the around the world race. So I guess this will be the second last one. And then after this, we're gonna go ahead and try to do the around the world. This car doesn't have a really good top speed. So in the straightaways, I'm gonna lose, but around some of the corners, I might be able to get enough of a lead that we might be able to win. I don't know, man. That's a hard race to win in this little car here, but uh, let's see how this thing drifts, I guess. Oh God, oh my God, okay. Come on, it does actually go around this stuff really easily. Okay, if I'm being honest with you guys, I think this vehicle is pretty good. And I don't know if it's like the best in the game or anything like that, but it seems good enough that if you only had like a couple hundred thousand, you could probably make this thing win quite a few races. So I don't know if this is the car for everybody. It's just super weird and it handles really weirdly, but I was going into this expecting this car to completely suck. And I have to admit, I am pleasantly surprised at how well this thing is doing. We've won a number of pretty good races so far. We've won some drag races, we've won some proper like circuit races, and more importantly, it's looking like we might even win the drift race too. I can't believe it. <laughs> I just can't believe how good this car has been to us. And there we go, first place. There we go, guys, we got it. So these are the people I'm racing against, eh? Okay, oh my God, this guy's using his present as well. This is perfect. So it's present versus present, Model 3 and a Konenseg Jesko, I think is what that is. I'm not sure, um, either way. This should be pretty interesting. No, he pulled out his Bugatti. Okay, okay, we're not getting first. We got a Bugatti Chiron, Conan Seg, and uh, oh my god, more supercars, really? As if it wasn't hard enough. It looks like we've got a 650 or 570, I can't really remember, um, and a Huracan. Okay, I don't know about this one anymore, guys. I'm still gonna try my best. I just, I don't know about this. More supercars, really? A Porsche came in, uh, we got an AMG GTR. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't know about this anymore. I don't know about this. There's too many good racers here. Okay, we've got a full lineup of supercars. Basically one supercar for every car brand. I don't know how this is gonna go, guys. Somehow, right off of the line, I'm in first. I'm not gonna stay in first though, because as you can see, these guys are way faster. But you wanted to see me do this, so here we are, <laughs> trying to beat million dollar supercars in this thing. This abomination. Come on, dude. <laughs> this poor car is like being pushed to its absolute limits right now. Uh, we're in eighth, which is honestly better than I thought we were gonna be in. Literally every other car was like Lambo, Porsche, Bugatti. The fact that I'm ahead of anybody honestly surprises me right now. Come on, little box. It's the little box that could. You can do it, dude. Go. If only this thing had a higher top speed, man, I swear. Like, these guys were so far behind, but their top speed brings them right ahead of me again. Oh, gosh, dude. Oh, that poor McLaren just crashed. Okay, well, at least we're gonna get ninth, it looks like. All right, uh, you were kicked from this game. What the heck? So that was random. I just rejoined and uh, everything is fine, but I got kicked from the game for literally no reason. So I don't know why that happened, but guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Surprisingly, this present car thing is actually not that bad. So I hope this video helped you decide if you want it or not. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave it a big thumbs up. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.